You know, ladies and gentlemen, I am getting... I, I don't know if the word is sick and tired. I don't know if the word is just enough is enough. I, I don't know how to put this, but basically, for anybody that believes TNA is just going to let AJ Styles go, obviously is not reading between the lines. Items, all right, you're not reading between the lines. Let's let's take a look at TNA's history, shall we? Most recently, we all thought that Devon, Devon was done with TNA. We thought he was done with TNA back in 2012. What happens? Bound for Glory 2012, the mask comes off and Devon is under it. We thought he was done in 2012 with the company. Apparently, he's done now. But still, we thought he was done then. And guess what? He wasn't. And he lasted almost a whole year later. A whole year later. So if you think TNA is going to let AJ Styles go, then you obviously aren't paying that much attention. I mean, let's take a look at the facts. Why in the world would they be pushing and pushing and pushing this whole AJ Styles thing? Why would they be saying, okay, let's have the friends of AJ Styles show him defending in Japan. Let's have him show him in Mexico, Europe. Why would they do this? Why would they play this up? Why would they bring him back this past weekend? Huh? Why would they have him cut a promo saying with one of the sayings of quote-unquote storyline or not, to Dixie Carter. Why would he do that? Huh? Why would he say, oh, you may forget about me, but you can't, but, ne but TNA won't forget about me. The fans won't. They won't let you forget. Quite honestly, for anybody that doesn't look between the lines here, and doesn't realize that TNA probably has signed AJ, then obviously you're not paying attention. Now, now I'm not saying, now here's the thing, let me, let, me, let me point something out. I could be, and probably, um, I, I will say this, I could be wrong, and probably, and in my past, in, in, in my past speculation, with any, as any wrestling fan out there has done, in a wrestling fan's past speculation, like mine or anybody else's, we're either right or we're wrong. But I don't think right now I'm wrong. I mean, this is the hottest thing going for TNA right now. And if you think they're just going to let him go, they're not. They probably already signed him to a contract, but they're doing everything in the power. And I'll give them credit. I'll give them credit. They're doing everything in the power to make you believe, make you believe, make the insiders of Wrestling News World, LordsOfPain.net, Wrestling News Source, no DQ, PW Insider, Bill Apter, they're making every single one of you believe to the best of their abilities, and again, I give them an applause, I give them a huge applause for this, they're making you believe to the best of their abilities that they have not signed AJ. And they're doing a damn good job. Again, you gotta look between the lines. And then you got to focus on what's going to happen in the following tapings. I mean, you'll probably have somebody say, what are your thoughts about AJ now? And, I mean, I'm sure you'll have some kind of backstage thing where I ask Dixie, what are your thoughts about AJ no longer being part of the company? It should be like, AJ who? Yo, come on. Honestly, if they pull something like that, then you know. You know they have, they have re-signed him. That he is under contract. They are making you guys believe. And I'm giving them all the credit in the world, but they're making you guys believe, to the best of their abilities, they have not signed it. Why do you think you keep getting people talking about this? Because TNA wants you to talk about it. They want you to talk about it. They want you to say, oh, well, uh, uh, th 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 uh, we weren't able to sign them just yet, but we're working on it, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it's just buddies an issue. We've got to do this. We've got to do that. I mean, come on. Honestly, folks... Honestly, 
The PNA has had a lot of problems financially. Let's 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 not deny that they have had some financial problems. But I don't think they're dumb enough to let go of this guy. They're not. True, they've cut costs by letting certain pe other people go. And that's fine. They've let Devon go. They've let Victoria go. And you know what? Fine. They let them go. You know why? Because they were big name stars. They wanted so, so much when they wanted this much when they came in and no longer can be paid that much. AJ probably wants a certain amount, but I think AJ's workable. And I'm pretty sure it's already been done. They're making you believe this. And again, I give them all the in the world for making you guys buy into it. Now, if I'm wrong, now here's the thing, if I'm wrong and TNA has not signed him, the only way I'm going to be proven wrong, in my opinion, is if on the last Sunday in January, the last Sunday in January, the Royal Rumble, the only way I'll be proven wrong is if T WWE, even if for one night only, Let's AJ Styles into that rumble. They let him enter that rumble match as a surprise entrant, an entrant nobody would see coming. Just to say, just to rub it in TNA's face and rub it in the wrestling world's face, like say, hey, look who we got to enter the rumble, even if it's for one night only. If they could do that, then yeah, it's pretty much confirmed AJ didn't get re signed with the company. But right now, I'm of the belief. After what we dealt with with the whole Devon thing back in 2012, I'm of the belief that they've re-signed AJ. I'm of the belief it's been done. It's done, said, it's been done, signed, sealed, delivered. They're just not letting you guys in on it. Because they know if you guys find out and you report it, it's going to ruin the surprise. And they know it. But that's my opinion. And that's my belief on it. Let me know what you think. Do you guys think, as well as I do, believe and have the opinion that teenagers already signed him? And that they're just doing what they can to make you think otherwise? Let me know, know what you guys think down below. Comment if you like. And I'll talk to you later. God bless. Take care.